Welcome back, guys. So this week, our word of the week is stop. And one of the first things I think about when I see the word stop are safety signs. But before we can really do anything with safety signs, we need to know what a safety sign is. So first, we're going to watch a video about safety signs with brain pop. I'm sure lots of you guys use brain pop at your school. It is such a fun way to learn about new things. Be careful, Moby. The floor is a little wet. Didn't you see the sign? What do signs do? There are signs everywhere. Signs can share information, give directions, remind us to do things, or warn us about things. Uh, watch out for the wet paint, Moby. Some signs use symbols or pictures that stand for words. This is the crosswalk symbol. It marks a special area where it's safe to cross the street. Don't forget to look both ways before crossing. Some signs use symbols and words. Hmm. All dogs must be on leash. Signs are simple ways to share information. How do signs help keep us safe? Some signs warn us about things so we don't get hurt or harm others. Well, signs can tell us about stuff that's poisonous or dangerous to eat or drink. They can warn us about stuff that's dangerous and we shouldn't touch. Some signs tell us where to find important things, like first aid kits, fire alarms, and exits. Other signs tell us what to do so we stay safe. Wait, Moby, it's not safe to cross the street yet. You've got to wait for the light to change before you can cross. It's important to pay attention to safety signs and follow safety rules. Right, Moby, a stop sign tells everyone to stop and look out for others. All stop signs look the same. How do signs use colors and shapes? A green traffic light tells people to go. A yellow light means to slow down or use caution. And a red light means to stop. The color red often means you need to stop or be ready to stop. Railroad crossings have blinking red lights that tell you to stop. The yield sign is red and white and shaped like a triangle. It tells you to slow down and watch out for others. Yellow signs with black letters are used to warn people about special areas. This is the school zone sign. When people see this sign, it tells them a school is near and to use caution. This sign warns people to be careful and use caution because kids are playing nearby. Orange and black signs warn about construction zones. Workers might be repairing the road, so it's important to watch out. Some signs have a circle with a line through it. They show what you are not allowed to do. Safety signs help keep you and everyone around you safe. Moby, the floor is still wet, so be careful. I guess that's one way to stay safe. So now we know a lot of different tricks about signs. Some signs tell us where not to go what not to do, some colors like red, 
usually tell us we're going to stop or not go. Some signs that are green might tell us to go. Some signs that are yellow tell us we should probably use some caution so that we can make sure we're still helping others. So now that we've done a little bit with them, let's see if we can do some more work. Let's review. Maybe you should wear a Be careful, Moby. The floor is a little... Okay. So, I'm going to help you find some signs. So the first sign I want you to look for is the red stop sign. Our red stop sign is a hexagon that is red. So we're looking for something Red with one, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight sides. Wait a minute. That's not the right shape. Eight sides means it's an octagon. Good catch. Do you see any signs that are red with eight sides? Good job. Four, five, six, seven, eight. Our stop sign is in the middle. Stop sign. Now we need to look for the stop sign again. Hmm, I see a sign that's green. And we know that stop signs are not green. So it can't be this one. It's not green. Hmm. I also see a sign that is a square. It only has four sides. It cannot be the square. Look for the red hexagon that says S T O P. Good job, you found the stop sign. Stop sign. We're looking for the stop sign again. This time, all of our signs have red on them. Hmm. If they're all red, how can we determine which one is the stop sign? I see one that looks like a hand. This stop sign does not have a hand.
Let's take a look at the other two signs. This sign says, do not enter. That means you cannot go in. Hmm. That sounds similar to stop. And it is red. Hmm. But when we stop our car, we're not going in. We're going forward. And then we are not going anymore. We stop. Hmm. Our do not enter is a circle. It does not have any signs. So it is not the same as stop. That means we only have one choice left. This must be our stop sign. Stop sign. Let's look at the three signs. The first sign says S T O P stop. The second sign says Y I E L D yield. And our last sign says stop road closed. So our first sign says stop. But the last sign is the same shape and it also says stop. So we know that it cannot be the middle. Hmm. But this sign also says road closed. Let's listen again to see what she wants us to find. Stop sign. The stop sign. So we are not looking for a road closure. We're looking for stop. Can you find the stop sign? Good job, you found the stop sign. Stop sign. We're looking for a stop sign. We have done this four times. Let's see if you guys remember. It is not a circle. It is not a triangle. And it is red. Can you find the stop sign? Good job. Police. This time we have a different sign. This sign means we are looking for a he or a she that is a police officer. We are also looking for something that is blue. Police signs are blue. And when we are working with police, we are going to see the letters P, O, 
L I C E. Police. Uh oh, it's backwards. Let's see if we can fix that. Now you can see police. P O L I C E. Do you see the blue sign that says police? We're looking for a blue square with the word police. Good job. Police. Okay, our first one, it is a square. But is it blue? It is not blue. And it does not say police. So we know that it cannot be this one. How about this one? It is a square. It is blue. And let's look at the letters. P O L I C E Police. This fits all our criteria. It's a blue square with P O L I C E on it. This must be our police sign. Do you agree? Okay, remember, we're looking for a blue square that says P-O-L-I-C-E. Our first sign says P. It is a square and it is blue. But I don't see an O, an L, an I, a C, or an E. So that means it is not the word that we are looking for.
our middle sign Is it a square? Let's count the sides. One, two, three, four. One, two, three, four. So it is a square. Is it blue? Good job, it is blue. Let's see if it has the right letters. P, O, L, I, C, E. It does have the correct letters. a new sign. Our new sign is not blue. Our new sign is going to be different color. And this sign is going to have a bike on it. Find the sign with the bike that is a different color than blue. Good job. Bike trail. Look for the bike. We need one, two circles and the letters B, I, K, E, bike. B, I, K, E, and one, two circles. Bike trail. Now you try this one on your own. Look for the letters B, I, K, E, and the two circles. Good job. Bike trail. We found it again. Bike trail. And here's our brown sign. Do not walk. Okay, so now we have one more new sign. This sign. is red. And it has a hand held up. That means that you cannot walk. Everyone find the red hand. Good job. Do not walk. 
Remember, for do not walk, we're looking for a red hand. Do you see the red hand? Let's look at the first one. It has one, two, three, four, five fingers. And what do you think? Is it red? Good. Let's see if we're right. Good Do not job. walk. Now that you guys are experts, now that you're all experts on our safety signs, I want you guys to try to practice by yourself. Use your boom card logins and look for the safety signs pictures. This week, we're working on signs about stop and signs about go. Remember, take a look at your signs and find out a little bit about them. Each one is going to be a little bit different and that's going to help you find the right sign. Thanks for tuning in. See you next time.